So now she's just, that's better. So she was a little bit too fast. So that's much better. Just bring your shoulders back a little bit and then a tiny bit more leg. So with them, it's kind of like you're driving a stick shift versus an automatic. So yeah, you're, they're always sick. Yep, you're always like, like how like much leg? Somebody who doesn't know how to drive a stick yes. shift. Yes. <laughs> so it's how much leg do you got to put on them? Just keep bumping her with that left leg and look to your right. Because if you look where she's going, they always drag you there. Yep. And now she lost her speed. Now she's too fast. Slow down. Yep, sit back. Slower, slower. That's it. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You're going to keep that speed. So mares like to do tricks and they like to throw their heads to confuse people. So if she's moving her head around or looking the other direction, you correct her, but you keep looking the way you're going. Yep, you're doing good. And it's better to stay too slow than get too fast with them because you're trying to get the correct footfall. But now everything looks good. So there she just got a tiny bit slower, but not much. So if they slow down a tiny bit, you just only want to use a little leg or a little squeeze with your calf or even use your butt cheeks to squeeze. Yep, just keep that same speed. You're doing good now. So that's a good speed for a flower there. Okay, I thought she was gonna go faster, but she didn't. Then just kind of bump her with that left rein, then a half halt and lean back, yep. So we're gonna start earlier before that turn, just to try to help her in it, because she keeps trying to look the other way. So stop her and back her up, yep, because she's not paying any attention now. Keep going backwards. We wanna make it miserable enough she doesn't wanna do that again. Yep, keep going backwards. Okay, so now walk off. Yep, and then slowly speed back up. Don't lean forward. Yep, lean back, and then don't look at her head. Her head's not going anywhere. Get her attention back, yep. Lean back a little bit. Stop her and back her up. So she dragged you again. Yep, lean back, keep going backwards. And I pull, release, pull, release, so when they do the right thing. Keep backing up, yep, don't look at her head. Look at my barn, <laughs> keep going backwards. Keep going backwards, it's much more than you think. Keep going. Good. Now walk off. So you want to back up a lot because backing up is miserable to them. So we're like, we're not just going to stop and back up one step because then she's immediately going to try it again because she's a mare and they're smart. Yep. Lean back. Yep. Keep looking to your left. Slide the, can you slide the bit a little bit across her tongue when you get to that part? That's it. So, and then lean back and use really light leg. Yep, just because she's getting faster. So when she's really pulling on you, again, you just have a little snaffle in her mouth. So when she gets to that part, she was yanking on you. Instead of pulling with both hands, alternate your hands and really slide that bit across her tongue and make it a little hard so she doesn't want to do it again. So start right now. Slide the bit across her hand. One hand, then the other. One, then the other. There you go. And then leave her alone. That was much better. Lean back. Now slide it again. One hand, then the other. Yep. Good job. Good girl. Yep, so if she keeps going faster, you keep sliding that bit because she keeps pulling you forward now. There you go, good, good girl. And when she does it right, you tell her good. When she does it bad, we're telling her wrong by alternating those hands and really sliding the bit. That's still a good walk. Yep. Now, since she always speeds up right here, go ahead and ask her for a little speed. Yep, and sit back. Yep, just a little bit more. You're good, yep. So you're gonna bring your shoulders back. Think of keeping all the weight in your seat pockets. And what you're gonna do is just half halt if it feels like it's getting too bouncy. Go just a little bit faster. Well, or she's probably gonna speed up right here anyhow. A little bit more, there you go, yep. So as they foxtrot, their head will go up and down. The hard part is again, in the beginning, it doesn't feel very fast because first we have to get it. And then over time, we increase the speed as they get stronger. Yeah, and you can always go over the pole too, if there's yeah. not room, yep. Or if it feels to you like she's getting pacey. We don't want to hit the pole if she's getting trotty because it'll just make her trot more. 
Yep, yeah, bring yeah, your so shoulders back. Them. Yeah, so the poles will make them on the trotty side. So if they're pacing, then it helps. But if they're trotting and you go over the pole, it just makes them trot more. So if you go over the pole and you're like, I'm fox trotting and now I'm headed towards the pole because somebody's in the way, you just stay slow over the pole and don't let them speed up. Yeah, go just a little bit faster. Good. Yep, you're good. So again, I'll see you move. And I'll see you move up and down, but I won't see a big bounce in the saddle unless she's trotting. Good job. Good job. Yep. So anywhere you think she's going to trot, remember, put more weight on your C pockets and kind of lean back and start half halting. Yeah. So don't go any fast. Don't go any faster. There she's a little lateral, so she changed her gait some, yep. And so if she gets lateral and you can feel it, that's when I kind of bring their head down and a little bit more leg. So try it again, because if you walk now, the last thing she thinks is, I did something lateral and I got a break. <laughs> so that's the hard part. So you don't want to stop then. There you're good, but don't go any faster. So right around here, think of keeping her head a little bit low because this is where she got lateral. If you can put some pressure to bring her head down and then a little leg. There you go. Because she almost did like one lateral step and you got her head down and she stopped. Yeah, and then speed her up just a little bit more right there and then keep that. You're still good. Yep. And then I would just go up there, turn around and come back down. Easy. Whoops. There's too much. Yep. So just stop her and then there. her and then there you go you can back her up and then start again yep just so she doesn't want to do that good and then you just go off and go again but that's okay at least she didn't hit like a hard pace down the hill and the, tr the trot's pretty easy to feel when they hit it yep remember keep sitting back keeping your weight on your seat pockets and if it feels like she's going to trot, bring her head up a little bit. You're good. Now you can hear it. 